Well, this is an update on my uh, engine swap into my CTX200 frame. Yeah, then this engine that I've got um, is a little bit different from what I first thought it was. I was led to believe that it was a COF230 engine, but it's not. The, um, the engine um, number on this engine is MD. 33E-5000031 Now that, um, when you look that up, that brings up an XR230 and I believe um, the the um, the last, um, like the MD33E- dash, the first number after that is the year so the first number after the dash is 5 so I believe it's actually a 2005 um, build engine. For what I can see, these um, XR230s were around around about 2006, 2007. So I guess it depends when they were assembled and when they were shipped. So it sounds like it's about right. So anyway, um, I've got missing parts on this engine. It's one of the problems I've had waiting for parts. Now the release bearing that goes in here appears to be the same for all of these engines which basically is an FTR223, an XL230, XR230, CRF230 and the, um, the release bearing is a, um, is a part of say 61003 deep groove ball bearing. Um, it has an inside diameter of 17 millimeters, outside diameter of 35 millimeters and a width of 8 millimeters. So I've gone and bought one of those, they're not too expensive. It's an open it's an open bearing as well. It was about $10 on eBay so that shouldn't be far away. Uh, the next problem though is the push rod. So the push rod for the CRF230, which I've actually ended up buying, um, X Japan, um, is just a little. Uh, it, it doesn't have an extended shaft. It just has the little round um, surface which goes against the um, release bearing, and then the little peg that goes down here into the actuator, which is part of the clutch housing. But this clutch housing isn't for CRF230. I believe this is an XR230 clutch housing. So you notice down in here, it's not a it's not a hole there. It's not a circle on the CRF230. It's actually a circle, a hole that the peg um, of the um, push rod goes into to stop it sort of falling out. Um, this one here, I believe, is meant to have the extended peg uh, that goes deeper it goes through the bearing and it goes down into the shaft down into the crankshaft there so I may have to actually buy a new push rod uh, an actual push rod for an XR230 uh, but the other option I've got is actually changing this uh, side cover out because it's got the, um, the hole there for the kickstart that I'm not going to be using uh, for a CRF230 um, side cover which I can buy for about $70 in New Zealand here. Um, prop, that one does have the hole of course in the center here and it would line up nicely with my uh, CRF230 um, uh, push rod so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that it's going to be the best option but the next problem is this is the gasket for the CRF230 everything lines up nicely except you have this little extended piece of the housing to allow for the um, compression release mechanism. So, what are we going to do there? Well, at least there's a hole there and a thread back here on the crankcase. So I think what I'm going to do is make up a nice little aluminium section and bolt it, make it the same contour as this, and put one bolt and uh, yeah, gasket uh, and like a little gasket and, and gear etc. And complete that little section there. 
although there's a blind area <coughs> on the um, cream case I believe oil will seep through <coughs> just in that little groove there it will seep through and get into that space and it will actually come out so I can't have that so that's my little challenge um, which I think I'll have to go ahead and do so other parts that were missing that I've ordered is there's a little um, clutch guide uh, it's like a sleeve, a bush, which fits in the back of the um, at the back of the uh, clutch basket gear, right at the very back here. It sits on the crankshaft, and that sort of um, is what the uh, clutch slides onto. And then when you take the clutch basket out, there's another washer in there, which is actually a spline washer. Uh, I'm missing that as well, so I've gone and ordered that. So this is all just tacked together at the moment. This time I've actually got the right nut on the right part of the shaft. So this nut here with the little extended part is of course for the crankshaft. Okay, because there's a little indent on the crankshaft that you just tap that little ridge into to just stop it un you know, stop it coming undone. Uh, the nut on the oil pump and, uh, and spinner is just a standard nut. Uh, there's a washer behind this nut that says outside. And there's a washer behind this nut that says outside. I think I've got everything in place. I've decided to go for 5mm hex um, to hold this on. There's plenty of clearance on the outside of it uh, from the housing. Just that those little cross screws, cross head screws are a pain um, to get out and that they are uh, not easy. So I've decided to go that way. And um, down in here I've gone and put stainless steel um, cross heads on the oil pump cover. So that's all okay. Probably won't have to go back into there again. I will have to just take that, these one 